You're watching UNICEF television. Six-year-old Afif lives in Jayas village, close to the wall that divides the West Bank from Israel. Soldiers regularly enter a gate near Afif's house and they come into his home. I only get scared from soldiers when they come to our house. Soldiers scare me. I noticed that he has fear. His studies are suffering. It's difficult to control him in class. UNICEF works with the European Commission Humanitarian Aid Department, or ECHO, to help Palestinian children and their families cope with the violence that haunts their daily lives. The project is about uh, protecting childhood in the Palestinian territories. It starts by giving children an opportunity to play in safety. And ECHO support has helped local partners to build robust networks of trained counselors who work with Palestinians individually and in groups. Because of UNICEF funding, we have high flexibility. We are able to carry out the emergency interventions. It's very important that this funding continues because psychologists need continuous training. The programs, which ECHO has been supporting since 2003, give priority to poorer families, especially those living in refugee camps. I wish that um, at some stage this partnership um, ends. This would be the best possible news for the Palestinian society. It would mean that there is no need for humanitarian aid anymore and that we have moved to um, another stage, uh, which is development, which is a normalization of the political situation, of the social and economical situation. But we are not there yet. Counseling has given Afif the means to express his fears. His schoolwork has improved and his whole family has benefited from the change. I was so happy, thrilled. I was so happy. Even when we went to visit his grandparents during the curfew, he wasn't scared. He was his normal self. Until a political solution is achieved, normal will continue to be a relative term for Palestinian families. But through their ongoing commitment to children like a thief, ECHO and UNICEF will provide a window onto what a carefree childhood should be. And by offering that glimpse, however briefly, they can equip children to deal with whatever the future may bring. This is Chris Niles reporting for UNICEF Television. Unite for Children.